hello guys this is jitendran and this this video is about uh, about um, of my experience uh, of iit bombay mtech interview so if you want to do mtech you have to qualify gate and if you want to do mtech in top top iits then you have to qualify with very good gate score so basically mtech is of two there are mtech of two types in uh, old iits first is ta which is teaching assistant which uh, which which duration is 2 years and uh, ra research assistant duration is 3 years so, so ba basically course of both ta and ra is same okay only difference is duration so but because of the course is same and uh, one can complete mtech in 2 years so obviously one can one want to prefer uh, ta rather than ra so ta cutoff always uh, more than ra cutoff so if you want uh, ta then you have to get good rank okay but suppose your rank is uh, above th 1000 rank or near about 1000 rank and you want core uh, core branch in iit bombay or isc then for, for ta it is impossible to get a uh, chance but in ra if you want to go IIT Bombay with 1000 rank with core branch, you can go. Okay, so RA cutoff always less than TA cutoff. So RA is same as TA, only you have to give one more year, only difference is other, other things are same. So, okay, so I have written here same things. So if you have less get score and you want to core branch in IIT Bombay or IC Bangalore. You can choose RA since in both you will get same math MTech degree. Placements are also same for both T and RA. Okay. Generally, if you want core branch in IIT Bombay or ISC Bangalore, you should have rank under 200 for TA. Whereas for the same branch for RA, their cutoff goes to 1500 to 2000 ranks. Okay. So for if you if you want good uh, if you want top colleges for your MTech, so you can choose RA. Okay. So in RA, institute gives you some extra work. Okay. In TA, there is no much load. Miss in RA because there is one extra uh, year. So institute, uh, so you you need you need not to cover more subjects in one semester you will get less subjects in one semester because you have one extra year so institute gives you some extra work in RA based on that sorry based on that your work, uh, work RA means based on the work provided in RA is again of two types in IIT Bombay okay? so first is institute RA second is project RA Institute Research Assistant, second is Project Research Assistant. Based on the work provided by Institute, there are RAs of two types IRA and PRA. What is IRA? Institute Research Assistant. In IRA, they will assign you any one lab which will be independent of your MTech branch. Okay? So, you have to assist to one lab. Okay? So, preference of lab which you want to assist will be yours. Okay? You 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 can prefer your lab which you want to assist okay so second is project RA so PRA you will be as in PRA you will be assigned any one project under any professor according to your preference out of 7 to 10 projects okay you will be given 7 to 10 projects or out of which you have to choose any one or two projects so you can choose one pro sorry you have to choose one project so you will you will uh, work in in that project okay under any one professor so you will have to work in that particular lab means that professor that professor's lab and your mtech branch should be relevant to your project okay suppose you want to choose a microelectronics then your pra uh, your uh, project in pra should be matched with your branch because that project will be your mtech project so another difference in TA, TA and RA is 
stiffen okay stiffen provided in ta is by msrd which is 12400 rupees in ira first year, in first year you will get 13400 in second year you will get 14400 rupees then in third year you will get 15400 rupees while in pra pra is in pra stiffen varies according to your project since in ira and ta stiffen comes from msrd okay while in ra uh, stiffen comes from project fund if your funding is if your project is uh, funded by you know like tata group or something else you 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 will get more stiffen okay it goes to 18k also so first try to get ta because there's no uh, okay because uh, you can complete same degree in 2 years so obviously ta is better so first try to get ta although ta cut off more so if your rank is good you first try to ta if your rank is not good no need to worry because if your rank is not under not under 500 then you can prefer ra also which is same as ta only you have to uh you have to give one extra year which is not a big thing okay so my iit bombay interview experience uh, i am discussing here so if you want direct admission in ta you should have very good rank under 150 for ra they select so i you know i observe that for ra they select students from nearly under 1500 rank okay for ra in iit bombay Uh, you know i s c also the the uh, all the students under fifteen hundred rank get called okay so for r a you have to choose two lab preference and two to three project i already told you that r a are are of two types institute are a project are a so for i for i r a you should you should apply for both okay they will select any one to which you are suitable but you have to uh, first form for both Fill form for both. So you have to choose two lab preference and two to three project preference. Then they conduct single written test for both IRA and PRA. Okay. They conduct written test for both IRA and PRA. Single written test for common for for both. So in IRA, uh, the weightage seventy five percent of written test plus twenty five percent of test score. Okay. For IRA. So gate scores weightage is less for PRA 50-50. Okay, written test 50%, gate score 50%. So if so if you have less gate score, you can go to in written test. Then you will be selected in that. Means for further round, second round is interview. Okay, but if your rank score is good, then you can uh, you will be selected for interview for PRA also. If you Perform in both. In your grade school group, and you are, you are done very well in written test. You will be selected for both. Then, if you selected for IRA, you will have to pass a skill test related to the lab that you selected. Okay. If you selected for PRA, you will have to pass an interview related to your project preference. Okay. So for IRA, you have to pass written test plus skill test. For PRA, you have to pass written test plus an interview. You might be selected for both. I was selected for both IRA and PRA. My lab preference was ECL, so I I prefer electronic circuit and lab in my uh, IRA, in which I had asked to find output of a given open circuit, and also I had to perform practical of that. That was not much difficult circuit. Okay, so after written test, I was asked uh, to perform one practical. So for PRA, my project preference was development of lab on chip platforms for for uh, efficient and automated farming agricultural sensors. Okay, so this was one project I had prepared. So related to that project, they asked me two professors were asking me questions. They asked me first question was what is lab on chip? So I told that it is nothing but all electronic components integrated on single chip. And it is correct. Okay, so you don't need to worry. How discrete resistors and capacitors and inductors are made? So resistors are made from small rods of ceramic coated with metal. 
while capacitors are made by two metals plates separated by an insulating battery an inductor is usually made from a coil of conducting material okay you can google all these questions and sharing my experience how on chip resistors capacitor inductors are made okay so on chip resistors are cap and capacitors are made using mosfets only whereas on chip inductors we have to use discrete inductors on chip inductors cannot be made okay what is cm cmrr next question was so cmrr cmrr is nothing but common mode rejection ratio which is a property of a differential amplifier used to quantify the ability of the device to reject the common mode signals okay because okay if in both inputs noise will be same definitely the output should be zero for that common mode signals why should it be infinite why should cmrr should be infinite so cmrr is uh, ad by ac means differential gain divided by common mode gain so output due to common mode signals should be zero so ad by ad by ac the if ac is zero so definitely cmrr should be infinite this last question was design a differential amplifier with difference gain 2 so we have to design v0 is equal to 2 into v1 minus v2 by superposition 2v1 minus 2v2 so i have given uh, draw one circuit like this i i have to find resistors value only so due to v1 output will be 2v1 and due to v2 output will be minus 2v2 so output due to v2 is minus 2v2 which is minus rf by r1 where rf is r2 r1 r1 is r1 so here you will get relation like this similarly by potential divider you will get uh, here vz then due to vz the output should be uh, output should be 2v uh, 2v1 okay so 2v1 is equal to 1 plus r2 by r1 into vz vz is r4 by r4 plus r3 v1 you will get like this you can do it is not much difficult okay so if you uh, if you want uh, the project details pro project preference they provided me to which uh, i have to choose one or two projects so you can comment into the uh, comment box uh, your mail id so i will send you uh, that list of projects uh, and uh, list of labs also and uh, if you have any doubts related to uh, this interview so you can comment okay and if you like please subscribe for next lecture okay thank you